vitamin B6, otherwise known as pyridoxal 5-phosphate or P5P, is a water-soluble B vitamin that should be supplemented with for most people on a daily basis. Our body needs a lot of B12 and needs a lot of B9, but no one ever talks about B6, but they're all siblings, and for some people they can have a deficiency in either one of those three. B6 is very important because B6 is directly involved in serotonin and dopamine production and synthesis, as well as other neurotransmitters. P5P, or vitamin B6, is also known to help with antioxidant production like glutathione and taurine production. It also helps activate ketone production as well as the pyruvic acid cycle. And it can also help with ATP production, our body's main currency of energy. P5P is a cofactor involved in the methylation cycle. And for people when it comes to emotional wellness as well as mental wellness, B6 deficiency is a real issue. And for some people who have things like depression or anxiety, B6 supplementation can be a game changer. B6 deficiency has also been linked to increased homocysteine levels. Homocysteine levels has been found to be direct linked to inflammation of the heart and the brain. If vitamin B6 supplementation is given, I highly recommend it in the IV and the endomuscular form. The P5P should be given in both, and if you have to go with oral supplementation, you must give a lot. In urine samples, you can actually measure B6 levels, and B6 deficiency has been linked directly to something called the kyanurate pathway and the quinolinic acid pathway in the brain, both symbol inflammation. If the kyanurate pathway is elevated, you need to check your B6 levels. It can be corrected, and this can be a biomarker of brain inflammation that can easily be corrected with B6 supplementation. If you give B6 or P5P, especially in injectable form, you can see very quick results within an hour to two. The person could be giddy. The person could have increased energy and better mood because essentially you're replacing something they're deficient in. If they have an MTHFR genetically mutated gene, they might not eat methyl B9 and B12 as much as B6 because P5P is a cofactor that essentially needed over and over and over again in the methylation cycle. The methylation cycle is found in the liver and it is predominantly related to ATP production, antioxidant production, as well as neurotransmitter production.